running this camera as, as as long as humanly possible you know 20 minute 30 minute video clips you know obviously and and the the key thing here is that when you're you're obviously in alaska again it's a cold environment but the 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 sun is beating down in this tiny cockpit and it gets really warm actually like surprisingly warm it's like a sauna um and so yeah we were we were we were filming for hours on end up there because you know you, the light's only so good for a certain period of time so really it, trying to hone in on on just being able to not only you know shoot normal footage but, but slow motion which was really our focus for that which I don't know if you're familiar with, but it, it really it can tax a camera, right? That's kind of the that's kind of the beauty here is that we were we were really putting that to the test. Um, big bank rolls, you know, with the plane shooting straight down, um, shooting kind of over the over the pilot's shoulder and whatnot, and and zero issues. In fact, I was surprised and and slightly concerned um, that the camera was going to be much larger because of the heating and cooling. I had heard, hey, this thing has incredible like cool down capabilities. It's, it's not going to overheat on you. You know, run times are better. Um, efficiency is better. And, and I was shocked because it just fit in my hand just like any other of the R4, R3 range. <laughs>